Who does not like the rainy season? Especially when hot pakoras are being made at home. Today Sunaina, her younger brother Sohan, who is 2 years younger than Sunaina, her father and mother all were at home. Dad was making his favorite potato onion pakoras. Sunaina's mouth was watering on seeing this. Meanwhile, Sohan came shouting, "Didi! Didi!" and pulled her beside the window. Sister, look at the lightning in the sky. Seems like it is going to rain very hard. Suddenly, the electricity of the house went off. Hey, someone come with a torch and help me in the kitchen. On hearing dad's voice, Sohan and Sunaina went carefully towards the kitchen. Mother started lighting the torch, but it didn't start. Mother, show it to me. Sunaina went out in the light and checked the torch. Its bulb looks absolutely fine. Let me check the battery. As soon as Sunaina pulled out both the cells, she noticed that one of them was not installed properly. Hey, this cell is fixed upside down. Now, let's place it correctly and check. Sohan was watching all this very carefully. As soon as she fixes the cell, the torch lighted. Hey, very good. You've turned it on. Yes, dad. Its cells were placed in the wrong direction. Now I have fixed them properly. Yesterday we did this experiment in the class. Well, come. Now you all sit inside and let me bring hot pakoras for everyone. Sister, please tell me how you have turned on the torch. Sohan, a torch is a device that is lighted up with the help of an electric cell. Just watch this torch carefully. What does it have? It has a very small bulb fixed to it that is similar to the big bulb in the room. But a big bulb runs on electricity. Rightly said Sohan. Electricity in that bulb passes through wires. These wires are inside or outside the ground or walls. In this torch, electricity comes through the power cell. The electric cell inside this produces electricity. We will learn more about it in the school tomorrow. Then I will teach you in detail about this. Sure sister. Yes, yeah, sure. Meanwhile, dad brings hot pakoras and everyone eats them with great fervor. The next day, while going to school, Sunaina had many questions in her mind. The electric switch has current, but where does this current come from? There are so many things in the house that run on the electricity. How do they all work? When Seema Didi came to class, Sunaina asked all these questions to her. Today we are going to discuss about all of these Sunaina. It's good that you asked this question. Let's do something interesting today kids. Seema Didi made groups of 4 children and gave each group a bulb, some electric wires, plastic rubber and an electric cell. All groups have a bulb, battery and electric wires. First of all, check the bulb thoroughly and then tell me what have you seen? The bulb is made up of glass and there are small wires inside the bulb. Those wires are called fibers. When we will light the bulbs by experiment, carefully inspect the fibers. The bottom of the bulb is made up of metal. It is round in shape. Seema Didi, it also has a plus and a minus sign. Place on it. That bulb has two terminals. One has a plus sign and one has a minus sign on it. Now we will all learn to turn on the bulb with the help of this battery. You should keep in mind that with the help of this battery we are producing electricity. Do this experiment in front of elders and only with the help of this battery. Do not repeat such experiments using electrical wire or socket. 
Now remove the plastic cover or layer from both ends of the electric cables. All of you have been given a plastic rubber. With the help of that, try to light the bulb by connecting the battery, wire and bulb. All the five groups started working. Sunana's group consists of Sunana, Mohan, Meena and Pradeep. Sunana quickly removes the plastic cover and Mohan puts the plastic rubber on the battery and starts connecting the other ends of the wires to different parts of the bulb. The same process is going on in other groups too. Let me connect both these ends to the bottom of the bulb. The bulb does not turns on while doing so. Look at this. Marks are there both on battery and bulb. Let's connect the plus sign of the cell with the plus sign of the bulb and the minus sign of the cell with the minus sign of the bulb. On doing so, the bulb turns on. Seema Didi, look the bulb has turned on. Oh wow, now let us connect it upside down. Can we reverse this? Let's connect the plus sign of the cell with the minus sign of the bulb. And the minus sign of the cell with the plus sign of the bulb. Even on doing this, the bulb turns on. All the groups try to turn on the bulb in their own way and everyone succeeds. All the children were very happy after the experiment. Seema Didi, why the bulb has turned on by only few methods? Good question. Come, let's find out why has this happened. Sunaina, how did the bulbs in your group turn on? Didi, we connected the plus sign of the cell with the minus sign of the bulb with the help of a wire. This has caused our bulb to turn on. When all the things, bulbs, wires and batteries are arranged properly, then it makes a way for electricity to pass. This type of arrangement where both terminals of the power cell are connected to both terminals of the bulb, it is called an electric circuit. The bulb could only be turned on when an electric current flows through the electric circuit you created. Yes. Okay, now let's make a flow chart of what we learned today kids. Seema Didi created a flow chart on the board like this. From electric cells, electricity is generated. Electric current which flows through electric circuit through which electric devices operate. All the children made this diagram in their copies. Today's class was very interesting. I will go home and tell about this to mother, father and Sohan.